Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yasmin and I make DIY, home decor and organization videos every week. In my last video, I shared with you how I DIY a buffet cabinet for a dining room. And in today's video, I'm gonna be making over the space to make it more functional and beautiful. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the before so we can get started with this project. Here is the before of the dining room area. So we've just had this table that I got off of Facebook Marketplace um, last year and it's been working but it's not really our aesthetic and the chairs are kind of starting to break. So we've ordered a new dining set, which is also going to be a little bit smaller than this um, because this dining table is just too big for our uh, dining room. And then um, this light fixture is going to be changed. It's ugly. So uh, we're going to be switching that out. And then we're also going to be putting up curtains on this window and also this one over here. And probably the one um, in the living room just because it's all like one space. Um, so while we're at it, we'll go ahead and do that as well. And then the IKEA Ivor cabinets that I got that will be turned into a buffet, a DIY buffet is going to go back on that wall and then basically the new dining table is going to be pushed out a little bit more and yeah so that's kind of the plan for this area. I'm not really sure if we will get a rug or not. I think that's going to be um, easier to visualize once everything is in place and then as far as this coffee section over here um, we are going to be moving this so all the mugs are going to go in the new uh, buffet in this area and then our everyday coffee station Keurig is going to be moved to this counter right here and yeah it's going to be really nice and I'm really really excited. Our dining set got delivered today. I barely dragged them in from the door. Um, I really really hope this turns out to be decent. Um, there were no reviews uh, so I guess I will be <laughs> the first reviewer of this dining set I will let you guys know but uh, I think we're gonna start just like building um, piece by piece so we have the four chairs and the actual table uh, I'm excited and uh, we'll see what happens Steven and I built the dining set together and it was actually pretty easy and straightforward so I'll save you all from the extensive furniture building footage. Misha was also very supportive during this process, as you can see. Hello guys, I am here and ready to start this dining room makeover. So I showed you that before, but it's actually been a couple of weeks. So our dining table actually came in and we've built it. It's right behind me. And I've already started the DIY IKEA cabinet for the space. Um, but I'm also gonna be working on this dining room makeover at the same time, just because there's so much downtime between paint and poly and all of those. So I'm gonna get started in the actual dining room. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what I'm doing first. So this is actually our new dining set and I really, really love it. So we got the set and I also got two different chairs to kind of zhuzh up the style in here. Um, and we've built it a couple of weeks ago. It's been working out really great. And it actually came with this kind of like gray upholstered seat. So what I'm gonna do right now, I got these kind of cushion covers off of Amazon. I have a black one and two kind of like beigey ones. I wanna try them on only because um, kind of like the color palette that's gonna go in here is on the warmer side with like black accents. So I don't know if I wanna keep the gray or if I wanna do um, one of these cushion covers or if I wanna just like go and get fabric and reupholster these. So I'm gonna kinda just try them on um, and kinda look at them for a little while so I can make that decision. We 
have a lineup. This is the original fabric that uh, came with the chairs. This is option number one, which is this kind of like warm tone beige with this um, kind of texture. And then this is number three, which is kind of like a cool tone beige, especially if you compare the two of them. It has like gray undertones and the pattern is kind of all over the place, so already not liking this one. And then last is this black velvet one, um, which I do like, but I do feel like this might be too much black. Those chairs are black, the um, IKEA cabin is going to be black, so I feel like this is just going to make it too much black. So I think I'm already going to eliminate these two, and I do like this one, and it's nice to kind of have the cover. You know, this is the dining room, if we spill something. Also, it protects it from uh, Misha scratching. She's already tried to like pull out the threads of this fabric. So I'm gonna think about these and um, see if you know I'm gonna go with this or this or if I wanna reupholster. I do have to keep in mind that if I do wanna do a different fabric and reupholster myself, it would probably cost more and more time. So um, anyways, I'm gonna think about them and we'll see at the end of this makeover which one is the one. remove the blinds from this window and I'm gonna go ahead and prep the wall now so I'm gonna fill all the nail holes and stuff and kind of like tape all the corners and be ready for paint hopefully tomorrow. Is prepped so I have taped all the sides and the bottom and I went ahead and filled the nail holes waited for it to dry and sanded all of those smooth there was like a couple of scuffs on the bottom too so I just fixed those and we are ready for paint tomorrow Good morning, you guys. So this morning I went over the tape lines in the dining room with the existing uh, wall color. That's a little trick to get like really clean lines. And um, I've put plastic on the floor and all of that. So I'm ready to get to painting. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're gonna do and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, um, the paint that I'm gonna be using for the wall is this one by Bear, Key to the City, which again is the same one that I use in our entryway to create that arch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in and cut the edges and then go in with a roller and hopefully what I have is gonna be enough. wall is done I just took the tapes off and vacuumed and all of that and the last thing I'm gonna do for today is um, go in with this cover this is the one that I decided to go with kind of like the warmer beige tone so I'm gonna swap out all of the other three 
Um, so have these ready, but it's about 6.30, so I'm gonna call it a day, and I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, you guys. It is an exciting day where we are finally taking down this ugly, ugly light fixture. Yes. <laughs> well, he's taking it down, and then we're gonna put up the one that I got off of Amazon. It's really cute, I still have to build it. Um, but I've been wanting to take this light on since day one that we moved into this house and what a year and a month later is finally happening so this is the light fixture that i got off of amazon we obviously have to assemble it but it's going to kind of look like this and i had to get the bulbs separate so um we're going to put this together and then hopefully put it up and hopefully it goes up without any issues but i'm so excited to see it in this space Light fixture is up, you guys. It looks so good. Um, here she is. We turned the light on and it dims really nicely. I might change the light bulbs, um, but it looks so good. It makes such a big difference. Um, we are loving it. Okay, so now that we have the light fixture up, we're gonna work on the curtains. So we're actually gonna put up a curtain here, here, and in the living room while we're at it and i'm just going to be using the same curtain so it's going to be these kind of like linen um white ones with just like super simple black rods keeping it very simple and neutral so we're going to start just like marking off where these are going to go and start hanging them um and it's going to look really really good You guys, we have two of the curtains up. So this one over here for the sliding door and then the one in the dining area and it looks amazing. I'm so happy that we just went with the simple black rod and simple linen white. It's just like really giving it that modern look and with the fixture, it's like, I'm obsessed. Um, still have to, you know, steam and hem this one, but so far it's looking amazing. Um, we just have one more to go. Good morning, you guys. I woke up this morning and came downstairs to the beautiful dining room. So yesterday after we hung the curtains, we brought in the DIY IKEA cabinet and we put in the dining table back in here and all of that. So today I'm just gonna focus on steaming and hemming the curtains and putting in the finishing touches so I can reveal this space to you guys. But I just wanna say good morning before I get started and I'm so, so excited. I steamed all the curtains first and used the no-sew iron-on adhesive to hem the ones in the dining room. After that, I printed two digital arts that I got from Etsy, framed and hung those on the wall. I added a few simple decor pieces to the space and that finalized this makeover.
you found this dining room transformation video helpful and got some ideas and inspiration for your next room makeover. I'm really happy with how everything came together to really modernize this space and I'm very excited to have our friends and family over now. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it would really help out my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more DIY and home decor projects. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!